Today, what are your thoughts on events here this afternoon? Well, I mean, it's not. Uh, it hasn't been a time that I've had to stand here and, and, and say that you know far too many uh, personal battles were lost on that pitch. Certainly in the first half. Certainly in the first 25, 30 minutes. Um, you know, and and when when things like that happen. You know, you, you, the inevitable will happen if you wait for something to happen. More than not, it goes against you, and and the goals did. Um, you know, we, we we just didn't compete hard enough and run far enough today, uh, and that, that disappoints me to have to say that. Can you put your finger on why the, some of the players were so far off the pace this afternoon? No, we fully prepared. You know, we knew we knew the, the strengths of Millwall. We, we spoke about it. We knew what to expect. It's a tough place to come. We know to start fast. Physical, win a lot of second balls. Totally aware of that, but you know we couldn't match them. Uh, didn't match them, but you know even even the goals we give away, it's uh, you know they're, they're, they're as much as they they had the possession, we've, we've gifted them the goals. You know, there's four four touches in in and around the edge of our box for the first one, um, and if you don't get the contact on the first second, more than not. The likelihood is at least the third one. The like, likelihood is that someone will get a shot when you go. And well, it wasn't the third; it was the fourth, and, and dispatch. Obviously, uh, mistake by Smudge for the for second goal, missed mm. kick. You know, a lot of that today. Put us on the back foot, even from the first. You know, his kick wasn't great for for them to come and win the header that put us on the back foot. But yeah, no, it, it's disappointing. I mean, we salvaged a bit of pride second yeah. half. Um, and, and rightly so, because you know we, we've we've got good support here today, and and like I said, we've got uh, roles and responsibilities and duties to carry out between now and the end of the season. And uh, you know, if anyone feels that you know within that group in that dressing room that you know make no no doubt about, it, we we can't we can't accept certainly what happened in the first 30 minutes. There are quite a few players at the Cobblers whose futures are uncertain. Did you learn much about certain players today as regards their futures at Northampton? Um, I think you always learn a lot about um, about a group in defeat. Um, there's no doubt about that. You don't tend to to analyse or, or, or too much when you when you win games. You just want to continue that momentum. But um, yeah, no, I certainly learned a bit today. Um, you know, not all good. So yeah, it's. You know, listen, we've got two home games now, another away game, but you know, what we've got to do is make sure um, that we, we have a, a huge response and a far greater uh, determination uh, in the game on Monday. Yeah, you still technically need points yeah. to, be, to be sure of staying in League One. Shrewsbury am on Monday, uh, after a string of games against sides above you in the league, now a game against a side below you, a real chance to, to, to make safety a certainty. <laughs> of course, listen, I think we've... We've had a tough run of games, like you say, against some, some big sides, some teams that are real threatening for promotion. Um, you know, today we've come up short in the first one of those, uh, but we get back against teams in and around us that we've got to get points. It's, it's quite simple, uh, and I know and I expect that we'll get a response on Monday. You lost a couple of players to injury today, Michael yeah. Smith taken off, and also uh, Luke Williams. What's the state of play with them? Uh, Michael took a took a blow to the leg. Uh, we're hoping that it won't be too severe, but we'll have to monitor that. But look, looks like it's a reoccurrence of the hamstring, unfortunately. Um, and if that is the case, then I, I guess that his season's over. Yeah, and no John Joe at all today. He's been, no. You're managing this groin injury he's got. Um, what's the situation with him? Uh, Justin, might he be available for Monday? Yeah, no, he'd be uh, he'd be fit for selection on Monday. Um, so yeah, he come back into the fold. So that 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 be uh, welcomed. So yeah, no, he he's fully fit and ready to go. Any positives from the day? I mean, you talked about the second half was was better. You you considered all the goals in the first half. Mm. Didn't consider any in, after the break. Uh, any positives? Uh, listen, I think we've gone to the end. I think you know we're in a position where we had nothing to lose. Um, you know, we, 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 we didn't concede second half. I think positive for me is more minutes for Brendan Maloney, more minutes for Alex Ravel. Um, so they're, they're, they're the two key positives to me to look forward into Monday's game. And events right at the end, I guess it's an old cliche, but it puts football into perspective, doesn't it? There was a, a very seriously ill person in the Dockers stand who was receiving treatment. We don't know how he, he or she is, but I guess that kind of shows that football in comparison is, is relatively minor. Yeah, I think it puts everything into perspective of, of 
you know, it's a game of football. Obviously, it means a lot, but you know, it's not about life and death. I'm hopeful that the rumours are that, that, that they've managed to resuscitate the gentleman and, yep. or, or, or the person, um, and that you know, hopefully, we get on the mend. I think credit has to go to our supporters. I think the way they conducted themselves in very, very difficult circumstances is not very often do Millwall supporters applaud the opposition and uh, as credit to our supporters because I thought they conducted themselves absolutely fantastically in a very delicate situation. Um, so, yeah, I think it puts things in perspective, but you know, it doesn't take away that you know we've, we've not really given the account, well, we haven't given account of ourselves today that we've become too used to. And finally, on to Monday. It's a big game. I get the message of the fans is to get there in big numbers Monday afternoon and, and make sure the Cobblers uh, get back to winning ways. Yeah, definitely. I think they've, they've, they've supported us since I've been here in numbers, vocally, uh, and again today. And um, yeah, we, we, we certainly need to uh, put on a performance and deliver a result because, you know, after today, that's what they need. Thanks very much, Justin. Thank you.